house where I lived taking any videos. Miss Kimberly over here was my stand-in hubby for the day. Hello. And um, she's taking really good care of me. And um, it went really well. I, of course, don't remember anything. But they said they got 14 eggs out of me this time, which is double what I got last time. So I'm really excited about that. And then um, we have to wait a few days to find out what that turns into in terms of embryos. Um, I'm hoping for two to four would be just perfect and that would be a completion for us to be able to move forward with everything so um, it'll take a few days if not a week to really get good results for everything but feeling really really good about it and glad that it went so well and now we are going home and I think some bacon is going to be made and you don't get to eat or drink before surgery so I'm pretty hungry right now and pretty much looking forward to that and then I'm gonna sleep all day maybe make videos later but really doing good feeling good glad this is all over for now and and I uh, don't have to have any more injections and, <laughs> and and all that painful stuff so um, and Laura came too and, and they were both there waiting for me when I came out. I'll have to put in the cute little picture that they took, but everything's going awesome and I'm um, so glad that they could be here since Brian can't. So um, that's all for now and I'll be back later. Bye guys. So it's mud season here in Montana and the truck was really dirty, but I just rinsed it off and the kids decided that they wanted to help. So I'm putting the kids to work. Racy's brushing half the truck and Connor's gonna brush the other half and then and only then can we do the rainbow conditioner which is what Racy wants so bad so yeah, I figure you gotta use child labor somehow missed a spot yeah. <laughs> That thing's pretty powerful, huh? Yeah. Hey, so how uh, how was those in the truck off? It was empowering. It was empowering? Yeah, it was great. It's empowering using a pressure washer? Yes. Yeah? Because it's just like a kick makes you feel so evil. <laughs> makes you feel evil? Yeah. Evil and clean? Yes. Yeah. Now it's Connor's turn to hose off his half. All the way up to the top. Yeah. Top to bottom. Yeah. I'm doing it. That way it runs down. Oh my god, look at it. Now it's pink. And now it's blue. Oh my god, this is so adorable. Looks like I threw up on the truck. Alright, so we finished washing the outside of Jaws. Now we're going to head home for some lunch. Ladies and gentlemen, it is moving day. Well, one of the moving days. So it's Sunday, and we plan on being completely, well, I can't say completely moved in, but we are sleeping at the new house tonight. We were supposed to sleep there last night. Yesterday ended up being too busy of a day. We had a really late night after making dinner, so we decided to stay here one last night. But tonight, Sunday night, we will definitely be staying in the house. Um, so today... Um, this morning we took over uh, Christy and my's bed. Um, 
as well as all the bedding for that. We also took over pretty much everything of the kids and they have all that over there. And I filled up uh, bins with all the kitchen stuff. So I've emptied out all these cabinets underneath the sink. Um, there's a couple things laying around, but I ran out of bins. So um, this is, pardon me, my pile of everything. So I'll turn it around and give you a better view. So, but uh, we are moving today, big moving day. Gonna sleep there tonight, very exciting, so. Here's all the bins that I have with stuff to take over to the house. I know it's just kind of thrown in there, but at this point, there's really, you know, not that much stuff for going into a house, so it's gonna be easy to take care of. House looks like a total, or the uh, trailer looks like a total mess right now. Once we get everything out of here, we're gonna start cleaning it up and uh, get this puppy ready to sell. All right, so we have Racy's room all set up and ready to go. We have her desk built, and she's going to be putting away her laundry here in a second. So we have the loft bed. And she decided to put her desk underneath and keep one of her barrel chairs out underneath there, and then her other barrel chair right here. And of course, this is all going to be organized and put away. Yes. And then her wonderful closet. Yes. So you got a lot of room in here, babe. Yeah. So I really like how the loft bed allows you to utilize that room underneath. Yeah, me too. So, anything you got to say about your room? I like it, and it's pink and colorful. It's your unicorn's nest, huh? Yes, it is. Excellent. Hey guys, I just wanted to give you a little update. So I had my egg retrieval yesterday. Did not really end up getting footage of that, I don't think. Just a couple pictures of before and after. But um, I slept pretty much all day afterwards because it's kind of a exhausting slash painful procedure. But I'm feeling really, really good today. And um, so I wanted to let you know the results. Yesterday I left hearing that they got 14 eggs, which is really good. That's double what I got last time. And then today I got the first report, which is out of those 14, they were able to fertilize 10 and um, seven embryos are actually growing. So the number's already cut in half from 14 to 7, but it's still a lot better than last time when we got to that phase. We were down to 4, this time 7. Now we wait until day 5. So today, I'm not sure if today is considered day 1 or day 2 because the procedure was yesterday. But day 5, they call and let you know how many of those that are growing made it all the way to day 5, which is when they freeze them. A lot of times they can fall apart or just not continue to grow, which is what happened last time is we had four that were growing and then it went down to only one and then when it was tested, it did not test uh, normal. So uh, we wait to see how many of the seven continue to grow until day five and stay intact. That's how many they will freeze. Then once they're frozen, we wait to hear back about genetic testing to make sure that they are transferable. So it's quite a process. You don't just get your number and run with it. Um, but we're at seven right now, and we're really, really hoping for at least four. Uh, two is doable, but since we want to have twins, if we only have two, and then they don't survive the thaw, or they don't transfer, or they don't take, then um, we have to do another cycle. So we would really like to have four if possible. That would make us safe. So I'll obviously update you guys when I know more. That's where we're at right now. So... Um, and today's Monday and I go home Saturday, so ah, it's coming to an end. Another beautiful day in Colorado Springs. Oh, Gorgeous views just coming out of the store. And I'm with my favorite ladies in the whole world. What? what? Yep, that'd be Laura and Kimberly. Nice. Grown up, grown up chores today. Yeah. Cat litter and... <laughs> I feel like every time you blog, we're shopping. I know, it probably is true. Well, because otherwise we're at home and what is there to blog about? That is very true. Bachelorette. Bachelor. <laughs> the Bachelor, yeah. We've been watching The Bachelor. Don't judge. Don't judge.